Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I have done one of these videos for two of my channels, the Dragon War Live channel and the Dragon War Reviews channel. I decided to do one of these videos on this channel. So I did uh, a collection tour or collection video on this channel quite a while ago. And basically, when I did it quite a while ago, like it was nothing like this. Basically, if, uh, if you watched the first collection video and you, you liked the video, you, you thought it was quite a good video. This my collection has changed so much since your last video. So I'm going to show this entire collection to you as quick as possible. And yes, so before we get going, hopefully next week or at some point, the Fortnite Shadow Miner skin should be coming to the item shop. I've been waiting almost a year for this skin. So what I'm going to do is make a, a gameplay video and a review on this skin. Blah blah blah. Try and make it a good video. Like put a bit. Uh, if, if, if apparently the skin is going to be reactive if it is reactive by kills i'll do like a team rumble clip and then do some solos and creative and blah 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 but yeah um make sure you hit the little bell for, for notifications so you don't miss that video because the, uh, the last uh skin review i did was the uh the xenomorph skin which i've got a couple of xenomorph figures there uh, from the actual skin as you can see oh yeah yeah and i had 170 uh views the uh gameplay of the fortnite alien skin yeah anyway uh let's get into this collection i need to be as quick as possible because this video is gonna be long i guess so anyway let's get into this first of all we have some posters here on my wall you probably have seen this i've only got this little like place here this is one of my favorite collections here or oh, yeah so first of all, you have this little Avengers cup here. I'm not going to really talk talk about the stuff too much because it makes the video longer. I'm just going to show it to you. So you can just see some cool stuff here. There's the clock quite late right now. And then some more over here. Little little thing I made, a little brain inside of there. Little the glow dark trash pack I put in there. I think it's pretty cool. Starfish, a fugler thingy, and you got you got yeah you got the iron got over little keyring on it. Uh, this is a really cool thing. The Iron Gauntlet, one of my favourite things from Hasbro. And, uh, yeah, very cool. And then, if I move this cup out of the way... Oh, God, this is bad. Uh, you've got the Trash Pack Collection. Now, this Trash Pack Collection was way better last time, but because I had to mess around with this, a lot of the Trash Packs got lost down my bed. Obviously, they're safe, but they got lost down my bed. Now, this collection doesn't look as good anymore. They get used to, but it's fine. Because we all make mistakes, but it's, it's a cool collection still. Uh, they are very dusty, but dust protects stuff, so I'm not gonna dust them. Just got a load of stuff down there. Blah blah blah. Then we go on top of the wardrobe. We have my Minecraft Lego collection, which I, I do want to. Uh, I do want to uh, still work on this. Get a few more Lego Minecraft sets and blah blah blah. I'm not gonna really talk about this. I'm just gonna just show it to you because if I talk about it, the video is gonna be way too long. As you can see, pretty cool. I love this collection so much. And yeah, that's the Minecraft collection. One of the best collections I have. Yeah, let's we should focus in. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next collection. Oh, yeah, there's a bat in there as well. A little bat. Down here we have my little gaming bean bag thing uh, with a, a little Mosasaurus figure on there uh, from the Jurassic Park. I do have to move all this stuff quickly just to show you uh, the rest of the collections. Down here we just have this, this as you can see, and my Black Series Darth Vader box for the helmet. And up there we got. Uh, some teddies and blah 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 and we got obviously the one and only villager how are you doing villager i'm doing good dragon wire very epic okay thank you villager then we got the hot toys mandalorian box there i don't know if you saw i think you saw that figure last time and then you got some more stuff here fugglers very cool and when we oh slime is down there as well ah oh, god i hit myself and then you've got now with the lego collection i can't put the coral reef lego set up there just because like it'll be a bit weird cause it's like overall collection uh so if i put like an underwater thing on there look at the the like the coral reef has like come up above ground and also i which is a bit weird so i won't do that and also uh i didn't put the uh the never set up there because you know i wanted this to be an overwatch so i need to get like some sort of tower but no i'll just show it so you're not going to just put into too much detail you can see where's the puffer fish oh you have to see one of the puffer fish is downstairs so i can't actually show you that but one of the puffer fish is displayed somewhere so it's just, just giving you a nice look 
blah, blah. and the rain caught his gauntlet as well. I actually displayed him downstairs and that and and yeah. So I need to put I need to put the rain caught back up here eventually, but pretty cool I guess. Anyway, uh that's that collection. Let's move on. Okay, we've we've got this little Lego thingy down here. And more over here. Cool stuff. And we've got this like te giant teddy shark thing behind there with a little fish, which is pretty good. This DVD here. And we've got this house which I made myself, so pretty cool. I made this house myself. And yeah, there's some little things down there, little creatures. Looks pretty cool. These Fortnite guns, which I'm never gonna take out of the box because I prefer them in the box. Pretty good. And then you got this helmet thingy and stuff up here. And this box is like the Neutrona one box, so it goes back to this thingy, which you'll see later out of the box. And now we're gonna go down and go down and go down down the other way. Yeah. Now we've got this collection right here: Minecraft sheep here, a Darth mini Darth Vader and a mini Kylo Ren helmet. So fun fact: I actually have both of these helmets for life size. Like the Kylo Ren helmet, I've also, also got the Darth Vader helmet. So make sure that. Yeah, you saw that at the start anyway, like a little glimpse of it, but you'll see it in more detail later. And then you've got this little shark eating the trash pack. And then you've got this little birthday card I got really, really cool. And then you've got the Kylo Ren helmet, one of my favourite pieces, uh, on top of this little mannequin thing, or whatever I put. This, this is a really cheap little mannequin thing. It was pretty cool. like this a lot. Now when we move on, we just have the bit where I store my gaming stuff, and that's where I put the uh, LEGO Minecraft thingy. So first of all, we have the LEGO Minecraft the Warped Forest set, as you can see, uh, and yeah, really cool looking. Uh, I, put, I put a Fortnite pickaxe there, the hybrid pickaxe, just because I wanted to. Then you got a D, my real name is D, and also all my channels uh, start with D, so like Dragon Ball Live, Dragon Ball Reviews, Dragon Warrior, and yeah, and this actually turns in, I'll show you. Oh, but before I show you, I just got my old white controller, which served me very well, but it's a bit dodgy. It still works fine, it's just a bit worn out. Like, this controller is, is lasting me years, and it still works pretty good. I've only got my my uh, my main controller there, and my headset. So let's, let's uh, blooming, uh, turn off the light, turn on the light. As you can see, this is the light on, as you can see, and it looks pretty good. I turned all my lights off, but anyway, that's the D light on for Dragon Warrior. And let's not forget my cute hot water bottle, which has got a stain on it, that's annoying. Now when we move up, we've got a Minecraft collection, so we've got Alex with the, uh, her Elytra on. By the way, I have got a Minecraft series called the Awesome World series, got inspiration from SB from that, SB737. It's a world, it's, it's a Minecraft series on my, uh, on my Dragon Ball Live account, so if you can access that account, or whether I heard rumours that if you're underage you can't access that account or something, I don't know, I don't know how YouTube works, so if you can access that account on Dragon Ball Live, which is not recommended for kids, but obviously I'm family friendly, go and check that out, we've got the drag, uh, the, 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 the series I've got on, it's not going to become a summary, it's a, it's, a, it's a series which is going to go on forever basically, but like SB's one, but yeah, Alex with a light troll, a load of blocks down here, we've got this dispenser shooting a shulker, as you can see, Alex with a gold arm one, a burning up skeleton, a witch, a, a zombie villager chasing a villager, the old model is ev evoker there, charged creeper there, a blaze, Blooming uh, Steve with a wither skeleton head. I would I would like with a wither skeleton skull on. Uh, I would like to get a wither skeleton figure, but it's super rare. And even if I got it, I'll probably keep it in the box anyway. But anyway, a uh, skeleton shooting him anyway, and you got Vex. You got a Vex on top of a shulker box, and obviously you have the giant and the dragon there. We move on. Okay, I need to get rid of this this PlayStation. Actually, I'll leave the PlayStation Y. Makes the makes the show you what I have to go through. But anyway, you've got a Ghostbusters collection here. So first of all, you see, this these little squishy things here you can see around here are not from Ghostbusters. You just put them there anyway. But little like squishy creatures there. I thought they would look pretty good. And you got this little ghost trap which and a pot of slime. This ghost trap actually like light works and lights up. I'll show you one light up feature, but the other the other feature you have to watch the the video on my main account on, on my live account. Like, I need to be quicker. So I'll show the lights in a minute, but you got the slimer there, you got a little slimer there, like, uh, you know, this this little creature here looks like slimer, like, looks like slimer's grandma or something, so I put them there. Uh, the ghost trap little box, and then the little book clip thing there. I've only got the Neutrona one, which actually lights up, oh yeah, I've got another little creature here. And another little creature down there. So this actually Neutrona one actually lights up, so you have to go, if you want to see what that does, you have to go to my review on my Dragon Ball review channel. This is a little look at the trap, as you can see, it, it's, it's really cool, it lights up, it's a, just, a, just a quick look at the trap, it's pretty cool. Here you have a mini figure collection, figure collection, so we've just got this Boba Fett helmet, Commander Green helmet, pretty cool, and we, we've got a Battle Damage Captain Phasma, whatever her name is, you know, with a Battle Damage mask. 
Uh, you guys will probably remember this if you're OG on my channel close. Uh, a hybrid Fortnite figure just holding some gold guns, which I don't think you've seen before. Some more gold guns down there. And another gold gun right there. And if you go over the top, we've got this really cool Iron Man which lights you up. Make sure you go check out a review of that on my reviews channel, blah, blah, blah. And then you've got a, a Hot Toys Ant-Man. Very, He looks like almost exactly from the movie, a little bike thingy down there. A little Lego figure hot ride on the bike. And this little postcard. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Then you've got a, a Hot Toys Wolverine last stand with an amazing display stand, uh, very, very cool. And then if you look behind there, it's hard to see, which unfortunately is, you've got a Carnage figure, which I'm actually going to go see the new Venom and Carnage movie tomorrow, which is very good. So anyway, when we move on, we've got this in another collection here, a little Star Wars one sort of thing. So you've got, this, you've got a Lego Darth Vader here and a Lego Shock Trooper. And you've got a Hot Toys Baby Grogu, which comes with the Hot Toys Deluxe Mandalorian figure, which you'll see later. Another birthday card, very cool. And this little, like, golden shuttle down there, which looks pretty cool. And if I get this round, I've only got the ATST with, like, my, my you know, my made-up Midas figure, which blew up on this channel. Uh, my little custom-made one. And the little, uh, what's he called? Banana Man. And a little fox hold on the top there. I thought it was a funny meme. Oh, there's stupid wires in the way. Just have to get past the wire. Oh, yes, and we've got a Jingo Fett figure, a TIE Fighter, and another little creature thingy there. So, yeah. As you can see, this is the ATST. It looks pretty cool. If I block up this, you can see it looks better like that. As you can see, very cool. He's like walking in that, like that. Very cool. But anyway, let's move on to the next collection. Like I did with my other collection videos, these, the, the, these two collections and also this collection are all three of my favourites. So I'll leave those to last. As you can see, you've got my TV there. It was there before my TV, but now it's here. So we need to get on the move quickly. So up here, we've got this little like Minecraft cow thing. Then we've got over here, we've got the Minecraft Wither with a little spongeful character with no legs. <laughs> and this little creature there. The, a puffer fish with shower guy on the top. A, a Among Us thingy there, which is pink. Out of all the ones I, I got, I could have got, it, it was the pink out of that little Among Us pack. <laughs> and then you've got another thingy, thingy, a little stress thing. More thingies. Very cool. Another stress thingy. A Minecraft Magma Cube, which I find very scary in the game. A uh, little thingy, what's it called, trash pack, a PlayStation 4, and a little stress thingy one, yeah. When we got up here, ignore the Nate mask for now, you've got another trash pack. These sponge figures are here, little, little cool little figures. Hello. There we are. Garfield. Squidward. It's trying to focus in the blooming uh, Pred Alien picture, so it's hard to show. And yeah, another trash pack. And then you've got the Mandalorian helmet box, pretty cool. And then you've got this, you, most of you guys might not know what it is, but it's basically like an evil zombie Nate, he's from a horror film, which I haven't watched, but it's a super cool mask. Then you've got like a picture from Predators, Predators are this evil like, no, no, this hunter, alien hunter thing, you can see you've got the Berserker, and the Falconer, and the little dog thingy, yeah. Then you've got a siren head, you, you must know what it is. The Pred Alien, which is basically an alien and predator hybrid. And obviously the main jungle hunter. This skin was actually in Fortnite, which I've got a, a proper figure of that. So, hope you guys are very excited. Now, let's show the rest of the, the three main collections, shall we, guys? So, first of all, we've got the Mandalorian collection. As you can see, one of my favourite. I love the Mandalorian TV show, one of my favourites of all time. You've got this little, like, uh, symbol there. You've got the Hot Toys Mandalorian, as you can see. It's super accurate to the movie. Uh, it will be because Hot Toys are very good. A Grogu there, which I think a lot of, or Baby Yoda, whatever you want to call him. And you've got the Flamethrower, as you can see, a gun. If you go down here, you've got just his little, like, knife thingy. And he's got his best scar, and he's really cool gun. I, I bet most of you guys seen you know, the Mandalorian. He's tracking Vob. And this little thing here is actually, like, the, the place where he hides the best scar. So I'm going to turn that light on quickly, because it looks like Hot Toys light. As you can see, this is what the light looks like. Very cool. Really, it's really nice. I, like, I really like this light. Very cool light. But anyway, we've got this little Mandal uh, you know, Mandalorian armor blueprint sphere. Pretty cool. And then you've got this, like, Mandalorian and Grogu little, what's it called? A little uh, bubble head thing. It's a bit like the pose I've got. Look, he's holding Grogu with jetpack. And that's the same I've got here. He's about to take off. You can, if you look under there, you can see his flames and the jetpack. You've got the Mandalorian helmet, which is so cool from Black Series. One of the coolest helmets. It looks metal, but it isn't. But it is amazing. And he's just got this, like, Mandalorian thing over there from, like, I guess it's a little, like, tag. Let me move on to the hardest collection to show out of all of them because there's so much in this collection, it's so hard to focus everything in. It's the Alien Collection. Most of you guys probably 
won't know what alien is because this is my child channel which is recommended for kids so it's a bit difficult but we just got a little uh alien queen chest so basically this alien queen is the baby version of this once this thing grows it's basically this which is very cool then you've got a xenomorph skull the alien skull then you just got a, a little dvd with a picture of a xenomorph on there and an alien's th this box here and then you've got picture of the alien dog don't ask what he's got around his mouth you're not gonna like it then you've got this like life-size chest burster from the movie thought i did like a really cool version of a chest burster uh like uh it's like a like a llama coming out of your chest it's not gonna be all a gory like oh god like the movie is the hit in the trauma one then you've got the alien dog or alien runner like him standing up he, he uses on his all fours but he does stand up a bit in the movie as well as you can see the alien dog or alien runner, he's called an alien runner, he's just like a, a, a alien hybrid between a dog, you know, he's basically, he, the chest burst came out of a dog, and you got a picture of the alien free disc at the back, and if you look carefully right at the back, there's an alien and predator little like case thingy, little like picture thingy, and then you just got this like alien head with a spear shot through it, it's a really cool from Hot Toys, a very nice little head, if you look carefully, if I can show you with this, not without this wire getting in the way, you can sort of see his internal brain cells, it's quite hard to show. Yeah, you can see it. I mean, you just got this birthday card, really cool birthday card, Alien vs. Predator Requiem, as you can see, this is my name. If you look at the back, you've got an alien, you've got the little box where, where the alien runner came in, and then you've got an egg with like a face hugger, you know, a little parasite coming out of the egg, which looks really cool. This egg is incredible. One of my favourite pieces of all times, this egg, especially with the face hugger. And then finally, you got this little, like, you can see, like, this, this is like a background which came with my alien queen, and I put the background in. This is the mother of all aliens, which lay all the eggs, as you can see. Uh, yeah, probably a lot of you guys have heard of aliens, I'm not sure if you watched them. Uh, yeah, because this is my kids' channel, so most likely you are, like, quite younger age. You can't comment down below, so if you want to ask me a question, go to my reviews channel, uh, comment on my re recent video. Or maybe go onto my live channel or something. Probably, uh, uh, yeah, or comment on my recent live stream. I don't know. But uh, this is amazing. This figure is one of my favourites of all time. But anyway, let's move on to the final collection, which actually usually takes me a decent amount of time to get through. So first of all, we just got the box where an alien figure came in. Really cool there. I hung it up. <laughs> and then you got... Oh, oh yeah. Should, oh, wait. Yeah, I thought I missed something. Then you got the, the box for the, the Iron Gauntlet. And then you've got the box for the Necatoys Alien Queen, and when we move down, then we get into Pred Alien stuff. So this Predator and this Alien are both in Fortnite. This is the Jungle Hunter, the original Predator, which was in Fortnite, and this Alien, and also that Alien as well, they're both the same Aliens, but one's smaller and one's bigger, were in Fortnite, so... I never got the Predator skin, sadly, but I got the Alien skin, but anyway, let's get on with it. So first of all, you've got the box behind the Jungle Hunter Predator, you got... Okay, this I don't want to talk about, really, because if you're a younger audience, I don't think you want to hear about this. Let's just say this guy's a demon. He's not... Okay, uh, yeah, you, if you guys know what Predator is, you probably know what this is and what the Predators do to people. Just just don't think about it. Anyway, you've got a uh, skull and spine there, another skull and spine. He's, he's, I don't know, he's gone crazy there. And then you've got, down here, I'll show you the Predator in a minute in more detail, a little chest burster. He's got, like, hot sauce, right? That's hot sauce, yeah. Then you've got, like, the Jungle Hunter's uh, amazing display stand here with the biomass. It's not hot sauce, by the way. It's blood. Anyway, uh, you got you got the ma amazing display stand for the Jungle Hunter. you got the Jungle Hunter's mask. As you know, if you play Fortnite, you've you got the Predator skin. You you there's an email where he takes off his mask and shows his ugly face. And you've got a little, little uh, skull there, which... It's got like a line through it. I'm not sure if that makes it to be right. I don't know. Then you got this alien free little like thingy. I mean, if we if we look up slowly, we have the creepiest we the alien, the big chap alien. He, he, he you know he's got his hands out coming to grab you. Blah blah blah. This is the alien, the, the alien which everyone is terrified of from the movie Alien. This is the alien. Okay, the one from the first movie where everyone is so terrified. This was one of the biggest movies back in the day. One of the best movies back in the day. This is what amazing. Now, when we look at the Predator, we got a skull and spine there. You know, you know, a trophy. He, you know. Thank you, big chap. Get your face out the way. I'm trying to focus in the skull and spine. And as you can see, he's got his wrist gauntlets out, ready to slice some cheese. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. And he got his countdown timer there with his wire in there. And then you've got the Predator with his, like, um, a gun and that. As you can see, you can sort of see around there with, with his dreads. 
can go around this other side as well. There he is. And if I get rid of this, oh, here we are. The original Predator. This video is not going to be as long as I actually, I actually got through most of it quite quickly. Like, th this video is only like 27 minutes on my, on my live channel, 30 minutes in my reviews channel. But this video is going to probably be slightly less time. But there he is, we got the Jungle Hunter Predator, love the Predator, one of my favourite characters of all times. We all know who the Predator is. Anyway, when we move, oh god, oh god, oh god, my arm is going to break off. When, when we move on now, we got the Black Series Darth Vader helmet, this all pulls apart, and I, and blah, blah, blah. I did a review on this on my, on my review channel, go check this out, it all pulls apart, like in Return of the Jedi. Most of you guys have watched Star Wars, probably. And yeah, it's really cool. It's all magnetic. It pull, pulls apart. It, like, it will pull apart and everything. Like basically, like that. You got the neck piece, and then you got the mask which attaches, and then you got the helmet piece, and obviously the iconic breathing. It's not working. It's working now. And if you look in there, you can sort of see some of the wires, as you can see, uh, like it all pulls apart, so make sure you go check out the review on this, it's amazing. Now when we move on, we've got another Predator figure, this is a really old Predator figure, this is the Ancient Predator from Alien vs Predator thingy, so as you can see it looks really cool. He is an older version, if they do a newer version of him, maybe one day I might get that one, I don't know. Look at him, he, he is an awesome Predator, he is a really old Predator, these two Predators are probably the two rarest Predators in the world, and the most expensive. He got his whisk, Rick Goss, wrist got lips, his little shuriken in there, little, little skulls there, look kind of cute actually. And uh, yeah, that's the predator, I guess. Uh, another predator, look at him. Oh my god, he's beautiful. And then if you look over here, up here, we've got another birthday card, which is actually hand drawn for me. It's a unique one. It's like a chest burster coming out of a cape. So, you know, the Fortnite one is a joke. You know, the Fortnite, this is a joke, like the Fortnite one. So basically, Thought like really, you know, a lot of kids play it. So thought I couldn't do a real bloody chest burst. You know, the blood coming out and blah blah blah. So they had to, they like you know, made it like a llama coming out of you instead of like a pinata. But in, with this, it's like a chest burst coming out of a cake. It's really cool. Then you got the the uh, a picture of the berserker predator from Predator. It's a shower guide card just to make it not so gory around it. Then you've got this is as good as hot toys. Like this is amazing. The sculpt on this is as good as hot toys. We have the alien. But the big version, I have two, the little version, and we've got the V-Alien, you know, the one from the, all this scary movie and all that stuff. And, yeah, it is amazing. What a figure this is. Uh, this one is alright, don't get me wrong, I, bought, I mostly bought this one for the egg, but it is still an amazing figure. But when you compare it to this, you know, this is definitely better. You can go around there. What a figure. And now this is a bit a bit creepy, but this is this was actually made for me by somebody. Uh, the, a chest burster, and this is what I'm talking about when it's really bloody, as you can see. But it's cool. It's a chest burster painting from Alien. And now when we go up here, you probably know what this is. Actually, I will talk about that in a minute. You've got another painting. I don't know if it's handmade, but uh, it probably is a Jaws painting. I love Jaws. What a great film. This is just a part of the. This Predator, which I didn't put the... Yeah, I'm not going to explain it. And then you've got a Spongebob thingy there. And then we've got up here more stuff. General Grievous. Storm Troop, a little bug from Indiana Jones, which I got there. Scout Trooper. Minecraft. Fortnite Ruin. As you can see, there's a painting that a teacher wrote about me when I was in like primary school. Blah, blah, blah. Good. good. It's all good stuff, by the way. Another TIE Fighter pipe. Not another, I can't even talk. I'm losing myself. Uh, then you've got uh, Fugglers here in boxes. I took them out that while. I just, I just put them back in there. Chestbuster box, the life size one. Patrick Stark there. Hello, Patrick. <laughs> I know, Patrick. And then you've got, you've got The Predator. A, this is not this film for where he comes from. It's just one of the new ones that you haven't watched yet. You need to watch that. You know, you, this is my channel picture for my reviews channel, by the way. A little snowy chewy, which is extremely rare. And The Parasite. The, the, the legend, the blooming... Uh, Face hugger from Alien, as you can see. It's a little bit weird there where the bendy wire is bent, but as you can see, yeah, it's a bendy wire. It's really cool. This video hasn't been that long. It has, but still. Look at this thing, the detail on this. It's a giant rubber face hugger from Alien. The thing which goes on your face in that. Like, yeah, <clears throat> my arm is heavy. 
And what I like about this figure, like this figure, you know, this tiny figure comes in this box. And this is an amazing deal because if I go to the back with this figure, come on, I need to get rid of this. With this figure, it comes with the entire set. Listen, if you like Alien, get this figure because it's such a good deal. Because in the movie, you know, there's an egg. The egg opens up, the face hugger comes out, and then it dies, and then the chest burst comes out, and then you got the alien. You know? And with this figure for forty pounds, you get all of it. You get the egg, you get the face hugger, you get the chest burster, and you get the alien. So it's probably if you're a massive fan of alien, you know, even if you're quite young, uh, your possibility that you have seen alien because it's quite an old movie and maybe so yeah. So you wanna say that, okay, but and I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I shown everything. This this is reason not these collections aren't fully complete, like for example I want, I want to put another figure here eventually. There's going to be a couple of DVDs. Like I'm going to get, you know, the film he he was in, the Predator film, maybe Predator 2, just display back there. And blah, blah, blah. Maybe get some more Minecraft stuff up there. And yeah, just what a great collection I have here. Uh, it's, yeah, so... Actually, uh, because we've got time, I want to see what my collection has looked like, like... The last time I did this video. The last collection tour, guys, I did was four months ago. And this is the OG where I was going to record videos, just put it on my window ledge and show my face. But, whoa, this looks so different. This looks so different. Like, if I skip it along a little bit, this was four months ago. The Tron one was up there last time. Yeah, this was four months ago. This is really, really, really changed. How much I could buy in four months? It looks so weird. And the Mandalorian collection is mostly the same. Mostly, it didn't really change my. Oh god, that actually looked pretty awful the way I put the chest burster. Oh, that bad. That was bad the way to put the chest burster. I have to admit, the alien does look better there, right? Bro, like in this. Yeah, the alien does look really cool then. I prefer it like that, but obviously, I had to make some sacrifices. Carnage was way more uh, noticeable. And the little alien was that in. Uh, like the little. Like, yeah, it's cool. Carnage was more noticeable. HST collection has barely changed, but you can see um, how much I've my most sources there. Villager, he's down there. Come on, villager, Dragon Boy, make sure you do a shout out of our roleplay series at the end. Oh, okay, I'll do that, villager. Don't worry. Uh, the reason why me and Villager don't really do a Fortnite stuff anymore is just because I grew out of that. Uh, me and Villager don't really like... To, Villager doesn't play Fortnite anymore, so... <laughs> anyway, yeah, this actually, this LEGO collection looked better. I need to bring the Rancor and the TIE Fighter back up. I will do that eventually. Uh, Trash Pack collection was way better back then. Yeah, I, 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 I shouldn't have messed with it. It's my, it's my stupid mistake. Should not have messed with this collection. It's one of the best ones I had, but... Minecraft collection was the same, blah blah blah, nothing really, yeah, things have changed a lot. So I think I like my new collections better, I think I worked, uh, did quite a good job on them, and yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure, okay, if you like live streams, go to my Dragon Ball Live, uh, I do like Fortnite streams and Minecraft, especially the new Awesome World series, which I'm really enjoying right now, Dragon Ball Reviews is where all my reviews come from, when we go down. We got like all my Minecraft summaries, which you should check those out, I did two for my original series and a couple, blah blah blah. Village of Dragon Ball and Fortnite, the roleplay, we don't really do that anymore. The 1.17 survival series, the 1. Uh, the Minecraft series 2 series, it's just live streams as well. Granny Smith, I don't really recommend. The Minecraft Tim series, I definitely recommended. I, I finished that uh, like a month ago. This is my biggest series ever. This real life roleplay series, I love this series. Started it in lockdown and it's, it's one of my favourite series. And my original Minecraft series. And yeah, so make sure, I hope you enjoyed seeing all these collections. Hopefully, I'll see you you guys next time that nate mask looks so good but anyway hopefully i'll see you guys next time hope you enjoyed seeing my collections oh yes like i said i'll see you guys next time goodbye hello predator